Hey guys, it's your girl Connie C. Walcott and I'm here with another video. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so right now. In this series of videos, I will be sharing with you tools that you can use in your classroom to engage your students. Please stay tuned and let's have a good time learning how to use these tools. Hello my peeps, so today we're going to be exploring Padlet, a very good tool for student engagement. So just open Google and type in Padlet. You have the option to log in or sign up. I already have an account, so I just went ahead and I logged in. Now this is the Padlet dashboard. You can see my name, right? You have these three options uh, to make a Padlet, join a Padlet, and also gallery. If you click on the gallery view, you will see a lot of Padlets that have already been created by all the educators. You can explore them to get ideas as to what you can use Padlet to do. You can also upgrade because the free version only allows three Padlets. All right. So that's something to think about. Now, if you look to the left hand corner, you will see a menu, right? The first one is recent, where you will see Padlets that you have recently worked on, made for Padlets you have made, Padlets you have shared, like, and archived. All right, so I'm just going to click on make a Padlet. Now you have multiple options. You have wall, stream, grid, shelf, map, canvas, timeline. So these are all different forms which your Padlet can take. My favorite one to use is shelf because it helps me to organize content in a very simple way. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click on shelf so that we can all see how it works. So the first thing you will need to do is to enter a title and a description. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right, so there I have my title and description. So now you can select an icon. There are multiple icons to choose from, and you can also add your own icon. Since I'll be doing something about computers, I'm going to add a computer for my icon. All right, you also have the option of selecting a wallpaper. As usual, you can use the options that they have, or you can go ahead and upload your own wallpaper all right so if you scroll down you will see some other settings which you can take your time and go through to ensure that you set up your padlet the way you want it to be done once you have done that you just click on next then you can start posting all right so this is shelf so it allows you to organize the content and just as a shelf bookshelf would be um set up so i'm just gonna go ahead and set the titles for the um, sections that I want. So this example is about input devices. And listen, you can use your Padlet however you want. You can use it as a hub for resources, or you can use it to allow your students to come and collaborate. You have the option of adding text, files, videos, link, and so much more. You can also add videos directly from YouTube. You just need to know the title and you can search and your video will be automatically inserted into the Padlet. All right. So there I have added a video. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a file. All right. So there we have a video and a file. Now, when you are ready to share, you have the option of adding members. So that means you can add your students by using their email addresses. All right, you can also change the privacy setting by deciding what you want students to be able to do once they enter this discussion board. So do you want them to be able to edit things? Do you want them to just 
be able to view do you want them to also be able to post right so you can go through the privacy settings and decide how you want students to interact with the padlet now if you scroll down you'll see multiple options as to how you can share this padlet with students through google classroom twitter facebook email you can embed it on a website use a qr code or just copy the link and paste it to your students all right if you scroll down a little bit more you will see that you can save it as an image pdf csv file or spreadsheet you can also print your padlet all right so this is what it will look like when students view your padlet so in this example students can go ahead and add their own content to the padlet this is very good for collaboration and engagement right so other students can see the post of others and they can have a conversation about whatever topic it might be right so students can go ahead they can publish text they can add gifs or gifs they can also add youtube videos right so whatever it is that you want students to do just ensure that your instructions are clear and students can go in and have some fun all right so there you have it guys this is one way in which you can use padlet you can go ahead and explore the other options i hope this was useful and let me know in the comments if you will be trying this and use it with your students all right see you guys